Welcome to our mini tutorial on downloading and installing service packs. Sage Businessworks has a menu option available to assist you with downloading updates for the Sage Businessworks program. The option directs you to the website where you can download service packs. Service packs are program updates and are essential to maintaining a current version of Businessworks, and they include important tax table updates and program fixes. Let's start by downloading a Sage Businessworks service pack. A service pack can be downloaded and installed from any workstation that is running Sage Businessworks. To access updates from our website, select Help from the Businessworks Launcher, then select Support and Service on the web, Download Updates. After selecting Download Updates, you are directed to the Sage Software Online login screen. Enter your Sage Software Online username and password and click Login. To access the website, you must be a current contact on the support agreement and have an email address and a valid login to Sage Software Online. If you are not a contact on the support agreement, have someone who is a contact log in to Sage Software Online and add you. If you are a contact, and do not have a valid login, click the Register Now hyperlink at the bottom of the page to set up a username and password for yourself. Once you are logged in to the Sage Software Online page, select the Support tab to access the customer support main site. Select Sage Businessworks under the Support Options and Resources heading to be directed to the Sage Businessworks support page. If you previously logged into Sage Software Online and selected Remember My Settings, you will be brought directly to the Businessworks support page after entering your online username and password. On the support page, select Service Packs under the Downloads section. From the list of available service packs, select the download that corresponds with your current Businessworks version. On the Service Pack download screen, you can review the release notes for the service pack as well as choose the service pack that you want to download. Service packs are usually cumulative, so you only need to install the latest one for the version you are running. We recommend you always read the release notes to make certain the service pack does not have any special instructions for installation. Once you select the service pack to download, you will be prompted with a file download security warning where you can choose to run, save, or cancel the service pack download. We recommend selecting save so you have access to the downloaded service pack if you need it at a later time. After selecting Save, the Save As dialog box appears. Here you can choose where you want to save the service pack. For this demonstration, we will save the service pack to the desktop. After selecting the location, verify the file name and select Save. The download progress screen appears. Please note, the download process can take some time depending on your connection speed. When the download is complete, you have the option to run, open folder, or close. If all users, including yourself, are logged out of Businessworks, you can choose run. Otherwise, you can choose close and install the service pack at a later time. For this demonstration, we will choose close. Now let's take a look at what the service pack installation looks like. If you chose to install the service pack at a later time, double click the patch file you previously downloaded to start the install. You may receive a security warning that looks like this. Select Run to continue. The patch setup wizard launches and you're prompted to select Next to continue. When the license agreement appears, select the radio button for accepting the terms and then select Next to continue. 
You can review the program path and data path to ensure it is installing to the correct location, then select Next to continue. The installation progress bar displays. When the service pack installation is complete, you receive an Install Wizard Complete screen. Select Finish to complete the installation. After installing a service pack, verify the service pack updated successfully by launching Sage Businessworks and selecting Help and then About Sage Businessworks. You should now see the version number followed by an SP number that corresponds to the service pack number you downloaded. In this example, we see that service pack 1 is now installed on our version 2009. Thank you for viewing our presentation of the Sage BusinessWorks Download and Install Service Packs. See our learning website for other task-oriented mini-presentations.